Okay, this is the do-it-yourself conversion of the Tetra EX30 into a hang on this hang on the back upflow algae scrubber. And uh, this is just a regular power filter from Tetra that you buy in the store. And then I'll show you uh, the different parts of it here. And then the do-it-yourself write-up will show you how to how to build it. So this is it running here on a test tank. The light is on. You can see a little bit of red light in the crack right there, but that's about it. Most of the light does not get out. There's a little bit right there. It's a not a quiet setup. You can probably hear it, but in the directions for do-it-yourself, I give a couple of hints on how you can do some extra work to make it more quiet. But uh, you might want to try it the way it is here first. Okay, the light is on, the bubbles are on. It's using a very, very tiny pump. This tiny little VibraFlow pump. Really, really small, and it's just fine for this. This is the equivalent of a HOG 0.5. Hog 0.5 upflow algae scrubber, and it's about the same size. So the screen is about 12 square inches on the inside, and uh, it has about a either a one or a three watt LED, which you'll see in the pictures. Alrighty, so there it is running, red light. It's not going to be growing anything. This is this is regular tap water with chlorine, chloramines, and everything. There's nothing in the tank, so it's not going to be growing. But it's been running for a while to test. Alrighty. So let's turn off the light, the red light anyway. Unplug that, and let's take a closer look inside. Okay, so now you can see, without all the red glare, okay, let's take off the lid. Right. So, this is going to be the plastic wall that you're going to see in the instructions, and then you're going to install the texture on there, and then you're going to put this wall in, and that's where your algae is going to grow right here. There's your LED, and there's your wall. So this is the growth compartment right here. That's where all the bubbles are and the water goes down under this wall and as you see coming out here no bubbles nothing at all no micro bubbles or anything it's amazing works really good this is the smaller of the tetra power filters uh there's i think the next size up they may even have another size but physically it's like seems like two sizes, and this is the smaller one. This is a great one to start with. It's very low cost in the stores and online sites. No bubbles at all coming out. None. There's your underwater LED right there, and uh, you'll see in the instructions how to either try to find one to buy, they're very hard to find, but you can just dip one in epoxy and it'll work just fine.
So build yours, post it up online, and let's see how well yours grows.